Trina? The guest suite is ready. Thank you, Trina. Thank you for letting me stay here. Of course, anytime. So, I'm really sorry about the divorce, but I'm really glad you moved back home. Yeah, well, I missed you. And the rest of my friends, my family, I'm glad to be home. So how is Junior handling the divorce and his dad moving out of town? He seems to be doing okay with it. You know, I told him I'd drive down to see him as much as possible. And he can come visit any time. Is his mama cool with that? You know Tanya. She makes everything so difficult. Tanya's been a drama queen since high school. Tell me about it. Honestly? We're surprised y'all lasted this long. It hasn't been all that bad, you know. At one point, we did love each other. We have a great son together. I guess everyone knew y'all would probably get married. Yeah, when she got pregnant, that's when everyone expected. I just wanted to be there for her and my child. Yeah, but y'all were always on and off. But I guess she was your first love. Was she? Hmm? You know, there was someone that I really liked. Who was it? Do you remember Angel Adams? Angel, wait, was she in the pep squad? She was really pretty? She used to hang out with you after the games? <laughs> yeah, that's her. Every time I'd make a three-pointer or a fancy shot, I swear I could hear her screaming above everybody else. I could always pick her face out of a crowd. I did not know y'all had a thing. Yeah, no one did. I think she was also a dancer on it in Living Color. <laughs> yeah, seriously. <laughs> that was a long time ago. Yeah, well, we hung out quite a bit and we talked a little bit. I just really wanted to see where it could go. Have you talked to her since high school? No. She left right after high school. I don't know where she is. I think she went off to the Air Force or something. Maybe she's the one that got away. Yeah, I guess she is. Her mom still lives right down the street. Angel. Hey, Angel, how you doing? Hey, Tim, I'm good. Hey, Janae. Hey, Angel. So, Tim, Janae, this is Gayla, my artist for the event. Hey, you see that one song, One Day. Yes, that's me. I'm so happy I get to be your stylist. I hear that song a lot on the radio and in a lot of fashion shows I do. It's doing really well. Yes, I'm very pleased. Well, thank you all for meeting to go over Gayla's look for the event. Yeah, we love doing events for you, and it's for a great cause. You know, matter of fact, we have a great picture from your last event hanging up in our lobby. Oh, wow, that's cool. So tell us about this new event, Angel. It's a fundraiser for single family households. It's for a nonprofit called A Single Hand Foundation. I'm putting together a show featuring celebrity artists like Gayla. Sounds like a good idea. Should be fun. Yeah, and the camera's gonna love you. Thank you. With artists like Gayla participating, it will be fun. But more importantly, it's gonna help a lot of families. Well, Angel, I believe in what you're doing and I'm willing to help out in any way I can. Yeah, and my studio will provide all of the videography and photography for the event. Okay. And I'll send you over proofs for your approval. So why don't we go ahead and get started with Gayla? Just tell me what you want me to do. Okay. Just head over to the dressing room. I have a couple of my designs. Put on the first outfit and I'll let you know how it looks on you. What's the name of your clothing line? Janae Patrice. Okay, which way do I go? Down the hallway to the left. So ladies, what do you got planned for tonight? I'm going home. I have a romantic evening with my boo. Ah, sounds like someone's getting lucky tonight. Mm -hmm. Angel, how about you? Oh, you know me. I'll probably just go home and cuddle up with a good book. Cuddle with a book? Again? You need to come out and party with me sometime so you can find someone. I'm not really into partying. Good guys are hard to find, and men are such dogs. Yeah, but there's some good ones out there. I have one, and I know there's one right for you. I'm fine. I have everything that I need. Everything Agreed. except a good man? Angel, I'm sure I have some friends that'll love to no. meet you. I Seriously? I'm fine. Seriously, Seriously I'm, I'm fine. fine. But are you happy? Angel, hey, it's Roger from school. 
I know it's been a while. I was wondering how you're doing. Give me a call. I'd love to talk to you. Hello? Hey. Hey. How you doing? I've been pretty good. How about you? Oh, I'm good. So what's going on with you? I was just doing a little work and checked my voicemail and saw that I had a call from you and wanted to call you back. All right. This is a surprise, though. What's going on with you? I just moved back home and I wanted to find you. I didn't think you'd still be here. How did you find me? <laughs> I went to your mom's and I asked about you. Seriously? You still remember where I used to live? I haven't forgotten anything about you. About us. Oh. Um, so what are you doing tonight? I mean, you want to go out for dinner or something? Um, you know, I don't know. Let me check my schedule. Can you hold on for a minute? Uh, yeah, yeah. Hey. Roderick, um, you know what? It looks like I'm free. So I guess we can go. Okay, cool. Well, um, how about seven o'clock? Anywhere you want to go. Okay, there is this favorite place of mine that I like to go, so I'll text you the address. I'll see you then, baby. Okay. Bye. Bye. Roderick. Wow. Girl, you look fantastic. Thank you. You looking good, too. <laughs> Here, come on. Well, this is a nice place. Oh, yeah. I love Buttons. The food here is so good. Mm-hmm. What brought you back home? You know I married Tanya after high school. Mm-hmm. We're getting a divorce. Oh. I just came back home to be close to my family and my friends. Oh. It must be hard going through a divorce. It's okay. Life changes. Mm -hmm. I'm fine with it. My lawyer, Darian Howard, he's really good. You know, and he's taking care of that side of things. Oh, okay. I guess I'm curious. What made you decide to look me up? Honestly? Yeah. I never forgot about you. Really? It's been over 10 years, Roderick. Let me show you something. What? Oh my gosh. You still have this? <laughs> yeah, I do. <laughs> I cannot believe you kept it all this time. I liked you so much. And we never had our chance. But I was hoping that now we would. I just, I never thought we'd see each other again. Maybe now is our time to be together. I really want to spend more time with you. Me too. She's so sexy, yeah, she bad, yeah, she fly. Hey. Shorty on the dance floor, dropping like an elevator. No, it ain't your birthday. I just want to celebrate you. Girl, you're so fly. Woo! Ooh, man, I'm full. That was good. Thanks, thanks, thanks. Ooh, yeah, it really was. That Ooh. chicken was great. So tell me how you like the song. I like it a lot. You did a really good job. Thank you. Yeah, I just I just started on it last night. Mm -hmm. um, so you the first one to hear it. It came out really, really good. Yeah. You know what? I love that shirt you have on. Can you get me one? Where'd you get it from? I got it from CreoCulture.com. What? What's up with okay. you today? What's up with you today? You all okay. bubbly, all chipper. <laughs> What's up? You gonna take an extra dose of your medication or something? No, boy. I went out to dinner with an old friend last night. Oh, yeah? Who? You remember Broderick White from high school? Broderick White, Broderick White. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah, he went to the league. Went to the league, and he got hurt a couple years back. Uh-huh. Yeah. Wait. Well, you anyway. No, nah, <laughs> you had a crush on him. I didn't have a crush on him, but I liked him. Crush, like, it's the same thing. What's the difference? Didn't he go out with that... 
high maintenance chick, you know, the one who drove the Beamer. Yeah, but he just flew back home, and so that's what we went hmm. on. They had a kid. They got married. Yeah, but they're separated now, and they're going through a divorce, and that's why he moved back home. Mm -mm. Uh -uh. I, don't, I don't know. I don't know, Angel. I don't think I'm too cool with that. Well, it's a good thing you're not the one he asked out. Oh, okay. <laughs> anyway, I gotta go, okay? No, no, hold right. on, hold on, hold on. Don't try to change the subject on me. No, all jokes aside, look, I'm your brother. I gotta make sure you all right. I don't wanna see you get mixed up with none of these busters out there. Honey, I know you're looking out for me, but you know what, I really gotta go, okay? Okay, if you say so. I'm going to, you know, I'm gonna let you do your thing on this. I'll see you later, okay? Okay. Bye. See you later. Bye. I'll holler. Peace out. Hey, hook me up with one of your homegirls, for real. So where mall are we going to? Oh, just the one right up here. Anyway, you will never guess what I did this weekend. What did you do this weekend? Well, I wasn't at home with a good book. So what did you do? I was hanging out with Roderick White. Who is he and was this a date? <laughs> yeah, it was a date. <laughs> Hallelujah. Anyway, <laughs> we went to high school together and always, you know, kind of liked each other but never had a chance to hook up. Sounds interesting. Yeah, he was like this basketball superstar and I was just me. Wait a minute, the Roderick White, the one who went pro? Yeah, that's him, he just moved back home. And y'all already went on a date? Yeah, and it was great. It felt like the years just faded away. Mm, he might actually have a chance with you. Yeah, maybe. So, how's your day been? It's been okay. I'm a little tired, though. Really? Well, we don't have to hang out with Ron and Trim. We, we can just go chill. No, I'm okay. We can still play cards. I really want to get a chance to know you first. Okay, cool. Well, they both went to school with us. Yeah, I remember you hanging out with them a lot. Yeah, our families are very close. I mean, we practically grew up together. Mm -hmm. So is that why you're staying here instead of your parents? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I love my parents to death, but mm -hmm. I need, I wanted some of my independence, you know? Yeah. But I found a place, though. Oh, really? Yeah, I'm having a condo built, so it'll take a few months. Oh, okay. So did you find a job? I did. The university offered me a coaching position. Wow. <laughs> wow, that is great, baby. Yeah. Everything is working out for you. Yeah, but you know what? Between this new condo, yeah. I mean, uh, this divorce and other expenses, my money's fun. So I'm on a budget. Oh, hmm. A budget conscious man. I like that. Well, now... You know that means that I won't be able to spoil you the way I want to with fancy dates and nice things. Honey, don't even worry about that. Let me take a double time with you. Oh. Hey, guys. Hey, guys. Hey. Hey. Oh, hey. Angel, this is Trina and Ron. Yeah. Hey, nice to meet you. How you doing, Angel? Hey. I you too. <laughs> I remember you from school. Yeah. Oh, my Snoop, you're Snowflake. Y'all were dating even back then. Oh. No, no, no. Okay. no, no, she, she, she knew a good thing when she saw it. Just, just, just had it, let me go see it. Uh, yeah, I think maybe that was the other way around. Mm -hmm. So are we still playing cards? Uh, yeah, if y'all want to lose. Well, that's what I have to do with every day. Hey man, what you think about Angel? She hot. Yeah, I know she's hot. But what did you really think? Yeah, you know, she she a lot more laid back than she look. She fun? Yeah, man, we we always had a lot of fun back then. Do the brown! What I'm talking about, baby. Ha, man, you're not even listening to me, man. I'm huh? trying to let, talk let, to you. Let me hit you back. Let me hit you back. Yes, yes, I would, dude. Um no, real talk though, man, all right? You were so entertaining, dude, all right? I didn't even know you had time to hang out with Angel. 
Yeah, man, I love Tanya, man. But there was always something special about Angel, you know? And now you and Tanya are getting a divorce. I never thought you should have married her. What? Man, you never told me that. Well, my place to. Look, man, well, I got the divorce papers today. She trying to take you to the cleaners? You know it. Tanya always been about the money. and She knew you had game and gonna make it to the NBA. You knew that, though. Yeah, man, but I thought she loved me, too. But I guess not as much as the fame and the fortune. Soon as I lost that, I lost her. Hey, 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 man, kill all that, man, dude. You still famous, man. Especially around here. Yeah. I can still get us up in VIP. All right, man, what I'm talking about. I, we, we going tonight? Let's go on to get out to the night. Talk about cheers, then, man. Let's go, let's go. Let's go. Let's go. <laughs> hey, sis, check this out. We good to go. Well, I think at least, you know. Okay. Got a good list of performers lined up for the show, so let me know if you need some more. I think we could use another performance. Okay, okay. What kind? Group? Solo artists? Let's do a group. Okay, group. Uh, what genre? You want R&B? Let's do R&B. Girl, guy group. Let's do girls. Okay, girls. Cool. I already got them right here. Check this out. Now this one right here. Check this out. Boobalicious. Mm -mm. Ain't booty delicious at the same no, time. No, no. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Okay, okay. Here's one. Man eaters. Oh, you like you like this group? Mm -mm. Uh -uh. No. Now these ladies. Now nah, we don't want them. Yeah, they got. I like them. I've heard some of their music. Derek, how you doing, What's man? What's up, NBA superstar? <laughs> yeah, Angel told me you moved back home, man. What's been going on? Yeah, well, I got a coaching job with the university. I'm just waiting on my condo to get ready. You know, just, oh, okay. just chilling. Okay, well, hey, have a seat. Have a seat. All right, thanks, man. So, uh, Rom, got something I need to talk to y'all about. You and Angel been spending a lot of time together, man. What's up with that? She's a special lady. Yeah, she is. Don't forget that. I won't. This is what I got to do, sis. Don't be looking at me like that. Shoot, I got some groups to go take, girl. Uh, enjoy your lunch. Roger, I'm going to holler at you, man. Hey, I'm going to take you to that strip club we was talking about. Derek. Hey, look, Bye. this is group. One more group. Listen, this one. No, uh-uh, no. This one is called. No. Can I at least let him try? Bye. I am sorry about my brother. But you handled that well. Yeah, I don't mind. He's just. Being a big brother. Well, I can handle my own business. I bet you can. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, what's going on with you? You seem a little agitated. What? How do you know that? I don't know. I can just sense it. I got the divorce papers. Oh, really? I thought it would take longer. We've been separated for a few months now, but she seems to be in a rush to get it done. Do you think she has someone else? I don't know. Probably. I don't care about that. So what happened with you two? Well, the first few years were okay. You know, I was doing pretty good in college, working, and so was she. But we all knew that wasn't going to last long. We all knew I was going to make it to the pros. And you did. Yeah. And the money was rolling in. She and Junior didn't have to want for anything. We went to all the fancy parties. Trips around the world, huge house with servants and all that. Hmm, sounds nice. And it was. Till I messed up my knee. And my career in the league came to an end. We had to downsize. Tanya hated that. She fell in love with the, the fame, the money, the lifestyle. I just couldn't give it to her anymore. But those were just material things. When you really love someone, you stick by them. Besides, it's not like y'all were poor. Tanya and her parents have always had money. And they plan for her to have that type of lifestyle. That's just who she is. And so many people are like that. Just around me for the fame, to get in the parties, wanting money for this and that. All that stuff is cool, but it's not what really counts. And what does? True, godly love, loyalty, Trust, devotion, compassion. When you have all those things and God is in a relationship with you, you have what really counts. 
That's what I dream of. Someone who'll love me unconditionally and accept me completely. Who'll never leave me. You can't buy that. Hey, Trina, what's up? Hey, hey girl, what's up? Um, so I've got some news for you. Really? What you got? I think that Frederick wants to introduce you to his parents. Did he tell you that? Well, no, but... Ron, I said turn that music down, fool. Sorry. Anyway, I heard, um, I heard he mentioned it to Ron. Okay, so what did Ron say? You know Ron thinks you're great for Broderick, and I do too. He hasn't said anything to me about it. Well, that's why I'm giving you a heads up, girlfriend. Okay, so? What are your parents like? Rude ghetto freak. What? Rude ghetto freaks? No, sorry, girl. You know how Ron is. No, his dad is a preacher. Really nice, laid back, always willing to help someone out. That's good. And his mom? Well, she's a... Hey. Different individual. But she loves Robert. Okay. Don't worry, girl. They gonna love you. And you're gonna love them, too. Okay. I think. Uh-huh. Okay. Dad, how you feeling? I do all right. You sure? Are you eating all right? Yeah, I eat what your mother fixes me. But you know, she's all over my diet. <laughs> <laughs> Man, anyhow, is this your lady friend? Uh, yes, this is Angel. Hi there, young lady. Hi, Mr. White. It's nice to meet you. It's good to meet you, too. Hey, Mom. Hi, this is you. Angel. Angel, is that some pet name? What's her real name? <laughs> it is my real name, Mrs. White. It's nice to meet you. Of course it is. It means you've made it to the next step. Excuse me? In trying to land my son. But you'll have to get through me first. Mama, come on. Boy, don't mama me. If you had listened to me in the first place, you wouldn't be getting a divorce. Sweet, sweet, sweet. Now, let's not be rude, okay? I'm not being rude. Angel, I apologize. It's just that I'm very protective of my son. He's the only one I've got. Oh, um, it's okay. Why don't you come in the kitchen with me while they go to work on that computer? No, that's okay. Angel can come with me. She's coming in the kitchen to get some coffee. Come on, son. Would you like some coffee? Oh, no, thank you. I don't drink coffee. Who doesn't drink coffee? Well, it has so much caffeine in it, and that's not really good for me. Not good for you? How come? Well, I mean, it's not really good for anyone. Oh, well, do you mind if I take a sip from the cup of death? Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah, you go ahead and enjoy your coffee. You know, Mrs. White, you don't have to worry about Broderick. I really care about him a lot. I'm his mother. It's my job. Do you have any kids? No, ma'am. Ever been married? No, ma'am. Pretty girl like you? Why not? I don't know. Well, Broderick says you're smart. You've done fairly well for yourself. I doubt you have any trouble finding a man. <laughs> well, I guess I'm just picky. That's all. Well, so am I. When it comes to someone for my son, he deserves the best. I'm gonna make sure that's exactly what he gets next time around. Mm, good coffee. So, what do you think of her? She's nice, but she's hiding something. Yeah, well, I'm, I'm settled in at my friend's place now. But you know, my condo won't be done for a few months, but uh, then you can come down and visit. I can't wait, Dad. I miss hanging out and playing ball. Mom doesn't do any of that. Yeah, she's never been athletic. Yeah, she won't even watch the game with me. She tries to get Mr. Forget it. Hold on, she, she tries to get you to watch him with Mr. Who? Nobody, Dad. Junior, it's okay. I, I know your mom has a friend. If that's what you want to call it, I'm not playing no games or hanging out with him. Hey, 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 don't be like that. Respect your mother, okay? No matter what the situation looks like. Don't cause her any problem. Yes, sir. All right, kiddo, it's getting late. 
Why don't you uh, go ahead and go to bed? Good luck on your game tomorrow. Okay, Dad. I wish you could be there. I know. Me too. But your mom will be there, right? No, she's dropping me off. She's got dinner plans or something. What dinner plans? It's okay, because afterwards I'm hanging out with Matt and Chris and we're having a sleepover at Matt's. <laughs> okay. Well, that sounds fun, kiddo. Hey, good night and I love you. Love you too, Dad. I love watching this movie. Dion, this is my favorite, favorite movie, movie of, of all, all times. times. <laughs> <laughs> Angel, we've had so much fun together. I mean, it's like no time has passed since we've been apart. Mm -hmm. So, do you think we're meant to be? Um, can we watch Scarface next time? <laughs> Um, okay. I guess we can do that. All right, well, I do. You changed my life in so much pain. That's why I feel you complete me. When I was lost, you rescued me. Stop. Stop. We can't do this. <laughs> Angel, I know you feel it. Yeah, I do. But we can't give in to it. Angel, you always pull away from me, even though I can feel that you want me. Honey, I do, but... But what? Angel, what's wrong? I have to be really careful about having the sex. What do you mean? Well, there are risks involved. Okay. Protection? Okay, I got protection, all right? We'll be safe. <laughs> Good, because we have to be. Okay, I got you. No, no. No, Broderick. I mean... We have to be because... I'm HIV positive. You have AIDS? No, I have the HIV virus. It's not the same. Either way, it can still kill you, can't it? Not necessarily. I'm on medications, and hopefully they have a cure one day. You don't look like you have HIV. Well, I'm really healthy. Sometimes I even forget I have it. So I guess that's why you forgot to tell me, huh? Honey, I didn't know how to tell you. Well, you should have figured it out before now. But things just move so fast. But I'm telling you now before they go any further. Things have already gone too far. We've already shared the same fork. We've shared drinks. We've been kissing. And you can't get it from any of those things. How did you get it? From an ex-boyfriend. I thought we were in a committed relationship, but as it turns out, he was in a sex orgies on internet chat lines, hooking up with other women, all sorts of stuff. Wow. OK, that, that's awful, all right? And I feel for you. But look, if I have sex with you, then I'm taking a chance on getting it, too. Honey, you would be taking a chance with anyone. It's only a chance if they have HIV. Would they be honest enough to tell you? Or would they even know their status? 
I need to think about this, okay? I can answer any questions that you have. I need to go ahead and head home. Okay. Good night. Good night. Roderick. I just, I just want you to know that I love you. Good night, Amy. I just wanted to know if we're still on for lunch. Give me a call and let me know. God, please help me. I have fallen in love with this woman. True, godly love. But she can die from this disease. I'm HIV positive. I, I can catch it and not live long either. I have a son to raise. Is loving her worth the risk? That's what I dream of. Someone who will love me unconditionally. Look, please. Help me figure out what to do. I can answer any questions that you have. I'm lost. I love you. I can answer any questions that you have. Angel, you feeling all right? You don't look so good. Have you been working too much? No, Mama. Besides, I love raising money for the nonprofits. It doesn't even feel like work. Is Roger the reason you look so tired? You two haven't spent a lot of time together lately. Well, sort of. I mean, he is the reason, but not because of that. I told him, Mama. You told him what? I told him, Mama. What about your status? Yeah. So how did he take it? He said he needed some time to think about it. And then he just left. He hasn't talked to me. I haven't seen him. I don't know what he's gonna do, Mama. So he just left and haven't even bothered to talk to you? I was shocked when you told me, but you're still my daughter. I thought he was better than that. He just needs some time to think about it. That's all. Angel. You are a beautiful person inside and out. An independent woman that loves him. He should realize how lucky he is to have you. Thanks, Mama. But I'm lucky to have him, too. And I don't want to lose him. We'll see about that. But no matter what happens, you're going to be OK, girl. All right, Mama. Roderick. Come in. Hey, um, how you doing? Well, I miss you. I miss you too. I've been thinking about you, about this situation. Really? What have you been thinking? Angel, look, um, I just don't know if I can do this. What do you mean, do this? I'm a person, and this is a relationship. Yeah, but things have moved so fast, you know? Maybe we should just, just slow down. Just take some steps back. You You're know? the one who found me, and now you want to step back? Baby, what did you think I would do? 
I need time to think. I thought that we could work through this together. I'm trying to. I'm, I'm just so scared that I can lose you at any moment. Or that I could get this disease and die. I have a son to think about. Honey, you're not going to die. And what about us having kids? There's so much that I have to consider, okay? There's so much that I don't know. Well, talk to me. I'm right here. You're right. You're right. Okay. Okay. Let's talk. Um, I, I looked it up on the internet. Good. I think I want to talk to a doctor. Maybe talk to your doctor? Yeah. Sure. Okay, baby. So, I guess I'll see you later? Yeah. Okay. Angel. Look. I'm not going anywhere, okay? We have time. But why waste it? Angel, why? I'm just trying to figure out what's best for me. You know, it would have been nice to hear you say what's best for us. Angel. Good night, Roger. I'm thinking about us too. Hello, Dr. Carter's office. Hello, hi. Um, I was calling to speak to uh, Dr. Carter. Uh, this is Broderick White. Hold on one moment. Hello, Mr. White. Angel mentioned that you'd be calling to talk about HIV and the risks of being involved with someone who is positive. I thought having HIV and AIDS was the same thing. Is it? Someone can test positive for the HIV virus, but it takes time to progress into full-blown AIDS. If it ever does. Okay, so how long does it take before you die? First and foremost, this is not a death sentence. Maybe 20 years ago. But certainly not today. What are the chances of me catching it from her? HIV is transferred through certain bodily fluids. Blood, semen, vaginal discharge, and even breast milk. Contraceptives do protect against the virus. Men are more likely to pass it on to women than women to men. Really? How is that? Because there's more virus in semen than in vaginal discharge. I didn't know that. There are precautions you can take to minimize your risk substantially. It all depends on how you and Angel handle the situation. And you know, Mr. White, there are many infected people with uninfected partners, and they lead normal, healthy, and long lives. Thank you very much for talking to me. I'm glad I could help. Thank you very much. <laughs> you know, man, I'm going to call and say, you know, me and wife, we're going to have a little house to ourselves tonight. You know what I'm talking about? <laughs> no, well, actually, I'm leaving now. I'm headed back that way. Um, I, I, you know, I, I figured you'd be hanging with your gal. I know since we ain't seen her around, you know? Go ahead. No, nah, man, we're taking a break. Trouble in paradise, huh? Man, let's just say that she dropped the bomb on me, and I don't know how to handle it. Well, look here, this is what you do, man. I ain't even gonna switch. This is what you do right here, man. Go to Kroger, get them $2 roses, man. Go up in there, go through the express line so you can get it real fast. Go back to where she at, holler her, and everything gonna be straight. Man. I'm trying to tell you, baby. You know, matter of fact, I bought something today. That's why you're not coming home. What? Roses? Man, look, dude, look, look what I said. Listen to what I told you, dude. Go get the roses and then holler her. Everything will be completely fine. Because what you ain't finna do is come back to the house. Hey, I'm busy. Ron, this could be a life-altering situation. Uh, no, uh, no, no, bye-bye. Ron, Ron. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Clean up!
gosh, I have to be honest with her. Yes, speaking. Yeah, what about? Why are you calling me? Uh, well, is he all right? Okay, um, I'm a couple of hours away, but I'll be there as soon as I can. to go to Dallas in the morning. What? Why? There's been an emergency. Everything okay? Broderick went and got himself into some kind of an accident. I don't understand. Why do you have to go? I thought you said you were done with him. Well, I am. But he is Junior's father, and legally I am still his wife, so the hospital called me. Okay. Um. Do you need me to drive you? No, but... Could you give me some money for the trip? Sure. No problem. Can I use one of your cards? The Beamer? Don't you always? Thanks so much, Steve. So cute. Hey, hold up. I don't think you're getting away that easy. <laughs> you know I like the lights on. Oh. I love you being here. <laughs> Hey. Hi, Mr. White. Hi, Mrs. White. This is my mom. It's good to meet you. We spoke on the phone earlier. Nice to meet you, too, Mr. White. Hello. Hi, Angel. How are you holding up? I'm worried, but I'm okay. How are you two? Uh, we're doing the same. Thank you for calling us. So, Mom, can we see him? No. They are prepping him for surgery, but I'll send the doctor to update you all as soon as he can. We would really appreciate that. Thank you. Mm -hmm. It's going to be okay. It's going to be okay. Yeah. Hey, Grandma. Grandma. Hey, sweetie. Give me a hug. Hi there, Tanya. Hi, Mr. White. Mrs. White. Tanya. How's Dan? Well, son, your dad's a bit banged up. But, you know, he's strong. So he'll be just fine. But don't you worry. You've already prayed about it. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Tell you, that's Angel. Hey, Tanya. Hi. Don't I know you from somewhere? We all went to school together. Roger and I were friends. Really? Mm, yeah. Looks like you're still friends. Yeah, we are. Tanya, is that an engagement ring on your finger? Well, um, I know you're not engaged to another man when the ink isn't even dry on the divorce papers yet. Is the divorce final? Why does it matter? We both signed the papers and my attorney is filing them now. See, I knew you were a tramp. That's enough, that's enough. Well, if I'm this a tramp, I'm a five-carat hey, this is not tramp. the place for this. Two dollars. Two dollars? Plus a hundred thousand. You want to see it? So you're friends with my dad? What happened to him? All I know is that another car ran a red light and hit your dad's car. I really want to see my dad. Oh, I'm sure you do, but you'll see him later. Don't worry, though. He'll be back at the gym shooting ball in no time. You really do know my dad. <laughs> Junior, let's get lunch. I'm going to quietly give you my number in a moment. Will you call me? Mr. and Ms. White, I have an update on your son. Yes, doctor. We're stabilizing him, but he's lost a lot of blood. He's going to need a blood transfusion, and then we can operate. Oh, my goodness. We'll do what you have to do to save my son's life. The hospital's low on blood right now, but we have ordered some, and it's on the way. 
The sooner we get the transfusion, the sooner we can get him into surgery. I can donate blood if you need to. That would get us started, and we could get him into surgery faster. We just need to make sure that you don't have any medical conditions that would prevent you from being a donor. Okay, well, I can tell you right now, he does have a few medical problems. But Tanya, Angel, and I can donate. Tanya, come on over here. What happened? Did Broderick wake up? I'll have the nurse come down and we can get started. We just need to make sure that your blood types match. Oh, well, my son and I are a perfect match. We have the same blood type. Angel, do you know your blood type? It's O positive, but I can't. Sure you can. It won't hurt. I've done it many times. It's nothing. Ma'am, he needs a blood transfusion as soon as possible. You're the perfect blood type. O positive is the universal donor. I know, but I can't. Why can't you? I would if I could. I'm sorry. You're sorry? My son is in there fighting for his life, and you're refusing to give him blood? Oh, boy, here we go. Honey, don't you? Don't you care about him at all? It's obvious he cares about you, and you're not going to try to do anything to save his life? He's in there, and he might die. And you're going to sit out here and do nothing? I do care about him. Then prove it. You're the perfect donor. Donate it and help save my son's life. Mrs. White, I'm HIV positive. Oh, shit. What? As you indicated, you cannot donate blood. So, Mrs. White, if the two of you would come with me, please. Do I have to? So does my son know? Yes. You have no idea how hard it was telling everybody about my condition like that. Oh, come on, Angel. Don't be hard on yourself like that. You know, it'll be okay. It'll be okay. What if they never really accept me? Who cares? I mean, it ain't for them to accept you. I accept you. Mama accepts you. Mama always told you, you're beautiful inside out. So it don't matter what they say. Mm. You know, you love Roger. Roger loves you. I know it. Yeah, but you know what? When he wakes up, is he still going to feel the same way? Let's pray that he do. Let's be there for him. You know? Yeah. You know, I got faith. I have a little faith. I'm going to okay. go and uh, see what's up with his, with his parents and everybody else. His little boy probably needs some company, so I might go play some games with him or something. Oh, OK. So I'll see you later. All right. So, Ron, what's going on with Broderick and Angel? What's it to you? You divorcing my boy. So? I still got a right to know who he's seeing and who he's having around my son. You and Junior just got here. Besides, you barely met her. Yeah. Are they serious? Yeah. Well, did y'all know she had HIV? What? She has HIV. You didn't know? We just found out a while ago. If she does have it, why would she tell you? Broderick needed a blood transfusion. She had to explain why she couldn't give blood. Dang. No, I ain't know. Has she been to the house? Mm. She drank out our glasses. She used our towels. <laughs> and she didn't say nothing? No. Not to me or Trina. Dumb. I don't know about Broderick. Well. I wouldn't want to be around nobody with AIDS. And you shouldn't either. It'll be all right. Before you know it, you guys will be hanging out just like usual. I don't think so, Trina. So much has happened. Well, I know you guys are having some problems, but it'll be all right. No, you don't know. But you know what? I guess I might as well tell you. Tell me what? The reason that I couldn't donate blood to Broderick it's because I'm HIV positive. HIV positive? Yeah. Angel, I'm so sorry. Are you okay? Are you yeah, taking care I'm of yourself? Yeah, I'm fine. Don't worry about me. So who all knows? 
Roderick's parents, Tanya, and Junior were all in the room when I had to tell the doctor. That could not have been easy for you. No, it wasn't. I really didn't expect it to come out like this. Does Broderick know? Yeah, I told him about a week ago. Is that why you guys are on the outs? Yeah, he's been distant from me ever since I told him. Oh, okay, so, okay. And then this happens, and you don't even know if you guys are together. Exactly. It all makes sense now. So, what are you going to do? I'm going to stand by him and get him through this. If he'll let me. I think Roderick would want you to be here with him. And I hope you guys make it through this. Do you really think we can? You're the same person he met. You love him. You make him happy. And that's what matters. <laughs> Thanks, Trina. It's gonna be okay, you'll see. Mr. and Mrs. White, as you can see, your son is resting comfortably. The surgery went pretty well. So when will he wake up? Uh, we don't know that. We don't know when or if he'll wake up. But he made it through the surgery as well as can be expected. Oh my goodness, my poor baby. The worst is over. All we have to do now is just wait. Okay, doctor, thank you. You're welcome. Now, our nurses will take really good care of him. Don't worry about that. Is there anything that we can do? Yes, you can talk to him. You may want to read to him. A little music might be nice. Anything you can do that you think will get through to him, feel free to do that. For now, I think you two should go home and get some rest. So I'll see you tomorrow on my rounds. Thank you, doctor. Okay. Good night. She was nice. Come on, honey, let me take you home. I don't want to leave him alone. You heard what the doctor said. The nurses will take care of it. It's not the same. I could stay with him tonight. I really don't think you should. Thank you, Angie. We really appreciate that. You don't have to thank me, Mr. White. Oh, yes, we do. Good morning, Angel. Good morning, Mr. White, Mrs. White. How did he do? Pretty much the same as yesterday. Okay, well, you can leave now. I would really rather stay in case something happened. You really don't have to. Well, I want to, so I'll just go to the break room and get something to eat, and I'll wait outside. That's fine, Angel. Would either of you like something back? Oh, no thanks. We ate before we came. Okay. Take your time. Are you leaving? Yes, I can't hang around here any longer waiting to see if Broderick will wake up. It's only been a few days. He could wake up at any time. Or he might not. Besides, it's not doing any good for me to stay. Well, if you actually visited him and talked to him, he might actually wake up. Look, I have a life to get back to. You mean you have a fiance to get back to? That's the real reason you're in a hurry to leave. Well, now, that's really none of your business. Hey, you watch your tone, was my way. <sighs> Junior and I are leaving. Junior, come on, I'm ready to go. Mom, how do I want to leave Dad? Well, honey, I'm sorry, but Mama's got to get back. 
Why? It's not like you have a job and I'm out of school. Because I have things to do. Come on, Junior. They're not more important than Dad. Why don't you leave the boy with us? Come back and get him later. Yeah, let me see him with Grandma and Granddad. Maybe. But I don't want him around Angel with her, her AIDS and everything. <laughs> she don't have AIDS. She has HIV. HIV, AIDS, same thing. You staying, you leaving, same thing. You don't have to worry about that. We'll take good care of him. <sighs> okay, fine. He can stay for a while. Thanks, Mom. Oh, honey. <clears throat> Sweetie, come here. I've got to get on the road, but I'm going to call and check on you, okay? Okay, and I'll let you know when Dad wakes up. Oh, okay, honey. I love you. Yeah, me too. Mm. You forgot one. That's Junior's bag. Angel, hey, hey. Hey, Ron, how's it going? Okay, how's Roger? Is something wrong? No, he's still about the same. Oh, oh okay, so, so what was happening? Um, are you gonna let me in? No, nope. What, why not? You know, because of the, you know, the AIDS thing. First of all, I don't have AIDS, and it's not a thing. It's a medical condition. Just like your diabetes. I know you're not comparing your AIDS to my diabetes. They're both medical conditions that we have to live with every day and take medicine for. But yours is an STD. Big difference. Yours will kill you way faster than, than, than diabetes will kill me. That is not true. I can live just as long as you can. Uh -uh. But yours is contagious. Diabetes ain't. But stupidity is. Come on in, Angel. Uh, close the door. Angel, how are you? I've been better. How's Broderick? Still the same. He's stable, but not responsive. Man, I hope he comes out of this. Well, that's why I came by. I thought if I could get some of his things and take him up there, that it might make him feel more at home. It's a good idea. That might help. Let's go in his room and find some stuff. Okay. You know, um... I can go get it. Just, just tell me what it is you want. I'll go get it for you. Well, I don't know. Um, maybe his team hat, his iPod, and his cologne. You know how he likes to smell good. Mm-hmm. Okay. I can get that. I'll be right back. D -d don't move. Don't move. So, how are things going with his parents? His dad has been really understanding. But his mom barely thought I was good enough for him before. So now she definitely doesn't. Must be really hard to deal with. Is that why you didn't tell us? Yeah, most people react just like Ron. They're afraid of being around me, don't want to touch me, thinking that they might catch it, and they just stop treating me like a normal person. Really sorry about Ron. You don't have to apologize for him. It's not your fault. Still, it must be really hurtful. I mean, you're already worried about Broderick and how he's going to react. Yeah. If he even wakes up. He will wake up. No matter what he decides about us, the most important thing is for him to get through this. Thanks, Ron. See you, Trina. Bye, girl. I'll see you later. Now you call me if you need anything, okay? All right, I will. Bye-bye. Did you have to practically kick her out? Wasn't it bad enough you treated her like a leper? No, I didn't. I don't feel comfortable her being here touching stuff and Hugging him. Ron, oh. you can't catch HIV by contact. I know. Well, why are you tripping? No, because, I don't know. I mean, look, it, it just don't seem normal. She's the same person. I thought you liked her. She's our friend. I did like her, but she should have told us this in the beginning, and then she surely should have told Roger before now. They've only been dating a couple of months, and we just met her. Why would she confide in something so important so soon? I feel like we had the right to know. Oh, really? What about her? She has to deal with this every day. 
the fear, the rejection, the ignorance. If people like you treat her this way, imagine how people who don't even know her treat her. I was thinking about you too. Really? What if it was me? What if I had it? That wouldn't happen. We've been together since high school. But what if? Look, it ain't you. It's her. And I don't think we should continue seeing her anymore. And Roger probably wouldn't either. I'm so disappointed in you. I hope Roger doesn't think like you do. Oh. Hi, Junior. Hey. Hi, Mrs. White. Hi, Angel. I didn't know you were coming back. Yes, ma'am. Junior needs to spend some time with his dad, so maybe you can come back later. We're about to watch the game. Did you know Dad played in Pro Bowl? I did. In high school, that's all he talked about. And I knew he would make it. I thought maybe if we watched the game, he would hear and wake up or something. Oh. Even though he's not awake, he can probably still hear you and knows that you're watching the game with him. You really think so? Yeah, I do. Matter of fact, one of the things that I got from his apartment was his team hat. I was gonna put it on him myself, but maybe you'd like to wear it. Yeah, that would be really cool. <laughs> well, you know what? I'm gonna go ahead and just go and let you guys enjoy the game. You don't have to go. Stay here and watch the game with us. Oh, thank you. That's really sweet. But you know what? It's okay. I'll see you guys later. Later. Bye, Angel. Bye, Mrs. White. Okay, sweetheart. <laughs> we really need for you to wake up now. We've all been praying for you too and believing in God to answer us. And I know he answers prayers because he brought you back into my life. I had everything that I needed and wanted, except someone to share it all with. Someone to love truly, who would love me back equally. Someone who could see my heart, my mind, and my soul. Who could look right through me and still enjoy the view. And that someone is you. I never believed that soulmates existed before. But now, I, I know that they do. You're my everything. Please, please, come back to me. Oh my God, you're awake. Yeah. How do you feel? I'm tired. I'm sore. What happened? Don't worry about that. You're gonna be okay. You came back to me. You asked me to. You hurt me? It's like, like you were so far away from me, but at the same time, you're so close. What happened? You were in a car wreck, but everything's gonna be fine. All I remember is seeing bright lights coming towards me. Honey, just relax. I'm gonna go get the doctor and call your parents. Okay. Okay. I thought I was gonna die. Well, I have good news. His heart rate is normal. Vital signs are stable. 
The motor skills are fine. He's doing great. I'm very pleased with his progress. Good. Good. I'd like to observe him for another day or two. Then I think he'll be able to go home. Thank you for bringing our son back to us. These situations take a lot of support from family and friends, and you guys have done a great job of that. Mm -hmm. So, do you have any other questions of me? Can we go in and see him? Absolutely. Awesome. Let's I'll see, see you in about a week. Right. Let's go see how he's doing. Okay. Angel, are you coming? Uh, no, you go ahead. What's going on? I just need some time to think and just to get myself together. Junior? You want to come on in with us? Yes, sir. Come on in. It's about time you woke up. <laughs> oh, really? You're worried, huh? Yes, sir. We all were. Grandma and Granddad prayed every day. Sometimes even twice a day. I prayed too. But not every day, but a lot. <laughs> well, that's cool, little man. Hey, isn't that my hat? Yes, sir. Angel got it from um, your apartment, and she let me wear it. Oh, so you met her? Yeah, she's cool. Son, I'm so glad you're OK. I'm sorry I worried you, Mom. Where's Angel? Uh, she didn't want to come in. Said she had to get herself together or something. After all this time waiting for you to wake up, it seemed like she's scared. It's OK. I could use some time to get my head together, too. Junior, why don't you go in the break room and get some snacks? While we talk with your dad. Yes, ma'am. So what's going on? Things got complicated before the accident. Complicated how? I don't think I should tell you just yet. I, I need to talk to her first before I say anything. Is this about her HIV? What? You know about that? Honey, everybody knows. How? She told us. <sighs> wow. It came out while you were in a coma, when you needed a blood transfusion. So, what do you all think about it? What's important is what you think about it and how you feel about her. And how does HIV change that? Before the accident, she told me, and I was trying to wrap my head around it, and I pushed her away. Really? I tried to keep her away from here, but she was here every day, working and eating, even sleeping here. Yeah, I know. I could hear her voice constantly. I could feel her near me. Sometimes I could even smell her scent. I love her, but it's so much more than that. I feel connected to her, like she's a part of me that's always been there. And I didn't realize it until I saw her again. Sound like someone found this missing rib. Huh? Missing rib? Yes, son. I believe God created someone for everyone. That there's one person anointed to deal with your flaws, to complement your positives, to enhance you, complete you. Whether you're lucky to find that person or not, or even keep them, is another story. And I have that with Angel. But I almost let her HIV blind me to that. I almost lost her. But you didn't. She's been with you the entire time, taking care of you even better than she does herself. She put your needs first, and she's devoted to you. And she's a praying woman. <laughs> well, Mom, you actually sound like you like her. I didn't dislike her. I just knew she was hiding something. And I was worried for you. I know I haven't made it easy for her, but she hung in here anyway, and I respect that. I admire a woman who loves you so much and is so good to you and for you. Hey, how you feeling? Honey, what's wrong? Angel, I could have died in that car accident. I've been so foolish for pushing you away from me. I could have lost you. I could have lost us. <laughs> You're a part of me. And 
I can't see my life without you. So I'm blessed. <laughs> I'm blessed that I made it through that car accident. But I have my family and my friends here with me. And then I still have you. Of course you still have me. Angel, I'm so sorry. I wouldn't have blamed you if you would have left me. Honey, I would never desert you when you needed me. I'll always be there for you. Like I should have been there for you. Instead of pulling away from you. I should have comforted you and, and supported you. Please forgive me. It's okay. Everything will be fine. And it will be. Okay, we're gonna get through everything together from now on. I love you. I love you too. <laughs> No, the band is getting ready and you're playing around. Come on okay, down. Okay, I got a James Brown. You got a what? Jump back in my... Derek, we don't have time for this. Come on. <laughs> hey, Angel, I'm here. Hey, Dondria, how you doing? I'm good. How's everything going? It would be coming along pretty good if I could get Derek out of the way. Uh, well... But we're almost ready. How about you? Are you ready? Yes, I'm so excited. This show is going to be amazing, and hopefully we raise a lot of money. I think we will because a ton of people have bought tickets. That's good. Yeah. Andrea. Hey, fast What's going on, girl? You looking good. Thank you, but I'm not even dressed yet, Derek. You ain't got to be dressed to be looking good. Oh. Uh, that didn't come out right, Andrea. Yes, huh? it did. OK. You stand in Texas or ATL now? If you in ATL, I know you about the sweetest peach in Georgia. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Okay. Come on, Dundry. Come on, let me take you to your dressing room, girl. Get you away from Bye, Bye, Derek.
amazing. You got my heart racing. I can't get you off of my mind. Woo, wow. I want to thank all of you for coming out to support the Benefit Show for a Single Hand Foundation. I also want to send a special thank you out to Ms. Dondria Fields for her performance in the show. And I have to give a really big thank you to the band, the Brim Brothers Band, for their performance tonight. You guys did a fantastic job. Thank you so, so much. That is it for our event tonight. Hopefully we will see you at the next event. Thank you so much again. Thanks. Hold on, hold on, hold on. One minute. Uh, we got one more performance, but, but before we do, uh, somebody has something that they want to say. Somebody has something that they want to say. <laughs> Angel? Yeah? I've seen firsthand how short life can be. You can lose it in an instant, or someone close to you in a blink of an eye. I've learned not to take anything for granted. You are my soulmate. I'd rather live one day with you than a hundred lives without you. <laughs> Sweetheart, will you be my wife? <laughs> Share my life? <laughs> oh my God, oh my God. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I never thought I'd ever find someone like you. So much was unreal, but you stay true. You look beyond my faults to see my heart. You came to rescue me from the dark. You changed my life in so much need. Yes, you did. That's why I feel you could be. Nothing else, you're my everything. In my heart, you will forever be. Girl, 
Girl, I love you till infinity. Girl, I think you are the one for me. Don't need nothing else, you're my everything. In my heart, you will forever be. Girl, I love you till infinity. You're like an angel that sent from heaven. One in a million. My lucky seven. You're my lucky charm. You're my shooting star. You're like an angel. You're like an angel. And I, and I, I love you to infinity. 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 I love you, I love you.